This video is for those who want to record their computer screen with webcam using OBS or Open Broadcaster software for free. For a particular reason, I will also be showcasing how to record not only your computer screen but also how to record a PowerPoint presentation as you commentate through the slides with or without webcam. I am using my phone camera at the moment because I don't have OBS installed on this computer. To start, I would like to introduce the most significant software that we will be using in this video, which you can find in the link in the description box below. Upon clicking the link, you are most likely to be redirected into this official download page in which you can download OPS. Completely easy and completely free. To install, you basically have to open the installer. Continuously click the same spot until you no longer can. Wait for a few moments. Click the same spot again, hopefully for the last time, and there you go. The main configuration I want to tell is about the audio and recording path. To go to the configurations, you simply click the settings button here in the bottom left corner of OBS. Upon clicking, you should be able to see multiple tabs on the left hand side. What you want to click is the audio tab. Go to where the first mic audio device is and make sure you have it set to the microphone you're using. I am using a desktop computer so I don't have a built-in microphone so I will be using the microphone of my headset instead. If you don't have an external mic but you're on a laptop, there should be an option for you to use the mic pre-built in your laptop instead. The next tab is the output tab. In here you just go to recording path and click browse. This is where your media files will be saved after recording. For starters, you can just set it to be the easiest accessible one, which is the desktop. But of course, you can always put it anywhere and whenever you like. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna just put it in this folder right here. Also, don't forget to click apply. That's it for the configuration. However, if you would like to configure more or to change what I recommended, feel free to do so if you think you know what you're doing and if it fits your preferences. We will now proceed in setting up the actual recording setup for OBS. To start, let's first create a source. To do that, simply click this add button here and select whatever type of thing you want to record. In our case, we want to record our computer screen. To do that, select the one that says display capture. Rename it if you like, click OK, click OK, and there you go. When you click Start Record, what is displayed here will be recorded and saved to your computer. Now, if you want to use a webcam or facecam, you just have to add another source. To do that, do what we just did for display capture, but this time, select Video Capture Device instead. You can configure some more if you'd like. You can of course resize this according to your will. Flip it horizontal if you want, etc. Now, for the final segment of this video, we will now record using OBS. To do that, simply click the Start Recording button right here. I will now switch from phone camera recording to OBS recording. Hello guys, we are now at the OBS instead of my camera on my phone. So one thing that I forgot to mention actually is you have to go to Settings again and then the Output tab. Then you see here, uh, in the FLV uh, recording format, you should probably switch this to MP4 because with FLV, sometimes your editing software may not be compatible with... Oh my god, who the fuck? Anyway, I can't uh, switch it right now because I'm currently recording. But if I stop recording here, I can uh, change this to MP4. So, yeah. Oh wait, I think I didn't finish what I was saying earlier. You have you do um if you use FLV, there are tendencies that your editing software might not be compatible with this type of uh, video format. So I recommend using MP4 instead. So I'm go I'm gonna go and switch to that right now. Okay, I have now uh changed it to MP4, and don't forget to click Apply as always, and then click OK. So now. We are now going to, I'm now going to showcase how to record your PowerPoint. So basically, it's really, really easy f uh, from this point because what you want to do is to just uh, 
present as if you're presenting in school. Basically, you just uh, go to slideshow mode in your PowerPoint and everything that's displayed on your screen will be recorded. So everything including transitions, animations, your webcam. Also, another thing that I forgot to mention again is your webcam. Make sure you place it in a place wherein there are no uh, information that it would be blocked that would be blocked by the webcam in your presentation so yeah that's basically it uh, also another additional information you are not limited to only uh, sorry for the background noise you're not limited to only video capture and display capture you can also add a lot of things as you can see with uh, uh, here for example you can add texts and for uh, this video I'm gonna just put like subscribe plus 15 merit points wink wink and then just like any other item on your sources you can resize it you can place it anywhere and that's basically it and what's uh, the advantage of using OBS is you can do all of these things text webcam your PowerPoint presentation simultaneously at the same time without the use of editing software that's it to stop recording simply press the stop recording button and your video will be saved to whatever place you set into your recording pass okay. like subscribe plus 15